Hey guys, and welcome to the homestead. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not our normal intro. What is? Hang on. I like things a certain way. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela, and we're Green Acre Homestead. <laughs> is that better? Much better. I'm more comfortable now. I feel like I was wearing somebody else's underwear for a second. Gross. <laughs> we are outside. This is the back of our house. Right here is the back door. Nobody's home. And we're underneath our back porch, but that's not the focus of this video. What's the focus of this video? We are going to finish out the windows. Now, everyone's <laughs> going to be really confused at that statement because weren't we done? Didn't we do the windows in our house? We did. There were two, what kind of windows do you call those? They don't open. Window, so, not window windows. So we figured we would leave them because they don't open. They were fine. They are double pane. Yeah, they're just like panes of glass on our, was it 1988? single eye mobile home so so we were going to leave them until a crack had formed in one and then a piece came out so now water can get down in between the panes yeah mysteriously somehow the window got worse and uh you didn't do it mm -mm. i didn't do it um the story on the street or the word on the street is not me did it <laughs> if you're a parent you know all about this not me person and if we ever find them, save them, and we'll save them for you, and you save them for us. <laughs> so yes, we are going to be swapping the windows out of our dining room of our mobile home. Ha ha ha! All right, simmer down. <laughs> here is a look at the window of the fence. Right here is where there's crack, and now there's an opening. So this one's going to go, and for those of you who don't know, it's really bright. I'm leaving a few for you, honey. Thanks. Boy, that one was straight. Now we go up. Here, I'll go down here. Yeah, save some fun for me. Oh, I am saving fun for you. There's one right there. Oh, two for throwing homies. them here. <laughs> hey, no, I caught every one of mine. Oh, that one was difficult to do because it's stripped out. Oh. <laughs> it's just spinning in the... Oh, okay. In the rotten hole? No, it's not rotten. Don't say that. I don't want any extra work. Yeah, I think this nut driver is about shot. Well, these are also really bad. I see now why you quit. <laughs> it's wonderful when it doesn't work and everybody's watching. That's all right. It's all to show you how much fun you too could be having. This could be you right here. Good. See, there wasn't rotten wood. It was just a bad nut driver. All right, you got two more up there. I know. It's going to be difficult. That one's angled down from the top because, you know, let's not make it easy or logical. All right, I'll have to get a elevation device. Gosh, really? It's just right in the way. Didn't I have to get a wrench on the ones on the other part of the house? I don't recall. I did. The top screws are not really accessible by the drill, so Angela got me a quarter inch and moose. A quarter inch wrench, and I'm going to take them out by hand this way. Not as fun, but should work. Fun? Yeah, I mean, this is awesome. I love it. 
This is so cool. Yay! Here we go. All the screws are taken out. So now we're gonna use our 10,001 tool, as we call it, and go ahead and start prying between the window and the house siding to start pulling it apart, which I don't think it'll be very difficult because it's cold today, so the adhesive is probably gonna be not sticky, and it's also really old, so it's gonna be not sticky. The biggest thing you have to worry about with this is not to tear your siding. You want to be careful because the siding is aluminum on these old trailers or mobile homes. All right. So now we get a first look at this dual pane window. It's honestly just a piece of glass held in there with the little quarter round molding and trim from inside the house. Wow, top of the line, top of the line. You want me to go push on the inside? Yeah, do that, but wrap a towel around your hand. I don't want it to break on you, but that's probably a good idea. It bounced off the steps and it did fine, but yeah, it didn't handle the rocks too well. <laughs> okay, guess what I get to do? Thousand piece pickup. Thousand piece pickup. We are time. so redneck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thumbs up for rednecks pushing windows out of their house. So we found out that we're going to have to take this old trim out because the windows that we have now are just a little bit thicker than the old windows. So out it comes. Man. I'm working so hard. <laughs> Does your husband just sit back and make you do all the work? No, this is the fun part. Tell the truth. This is the fun part. Did he tell you to do that? No. <laughs> She's all about the demolition. Reconstruction and painting apparently is my forte. Well, yeah, you're the builder. You have to twist it. And you're the breaker. See, look at that face. Face it. <laughs> Demolition right there. Who is it? Chip and Joanna Gaines? Ain't yeah. got nothing on us. You guys don't see them in some old 80s single wide. finger of talk. This is paint. It's not mold. That's, That's good. Sam's paint job. Multiple layer paint job there. Would you call it the finger of talk? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> finger of talk. This is I'm about to talk about this right here where the finger's pointing. Dun 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 dun. In all seriousness, it is actually really surprising that none of this window's framing or seals have any sight, sight, sign of dry rot, leakage, mold, or issues. That says a lot. I don't know what it says, but it says a lot of that. Since every other window we've redone has some rot. Yeah, some's putting it lightly. Remember <laughs> that kitchen window, hon? It's got some rot in there, you know. Take an eight foot section of your house wall apart. We have our new window here. And before I put any sealant on this at all, I wanna dry fit it and make sure that we're correct in our measurements and everything looks good.
All right, I got the opening adjusted and everything ready to rock and roll. The window fits, thankfully. I'm getting ready to put the sealant on the house. Now you can do this two ways. You can put it on the window itself or on the flange or on the house. In this case, I'm gonna stick it on the house. Never know, next window, might do it on the window. Either way, as long as it's between the window and the house, that's what you want. The product I'm using is called Lexel. It is my favorite sealant, hands down. It's clear, it's waterproof instantly, it's paintable, it's flexible, it's good stuff. It's also not too cheap, but you know, hey, you want your house leaking? I'm gonna go ahead and put a bead of the sealant all around the perimeter of the window and then smush the window in place. Even though this is being really difficult to squeeze out because it's kind of chilly today, I think we're around 38 degrees maybe, the application temperature for this goes all the way down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. So, good stuff. If you could... Alright, I'll pass off, no, I'll pass the camera off to me. The window is in place just temporarily right now. Angel's going to run inside real quick and align me left, right, front, center, front, and back and all that to make the window centered in the opening. So that looks really good. Let's go take a look from the inside and see how it looks in there. I just got the outside window out, but I'm gonna wait until Angela gets back from the post office and grocery store to get the inside glass pane out, the one that we broke on the first window. While I'm waiting, I wanna take a second and tell you guys, first off, thank you so much for those of you who have ordered some of our soaps and stuff from our website. Angela took a big load of stuff off just now and it really means a lot to us. So we really, really appreciate that. The second thing I want to say is that this installation is meant to be a how-to for mobile homes with metal siding. It's mostly mobile homes probably built in the mid-1990s and older, and it's going to be a very different scenario than what you see with homes or newer modular manufactured homes. The window replacement procedure for this style home is more along the lines that you'll see from a aluminum camper or a vintage camper, more so than from a home. What I mean by that is the windows actually adhere and screw on the outside, outside of the siding, and they just kind of hang out there and that's how things work. Now that I think of it, not very much unlike the portholes on ships, I guess. I just wanted to point that out for anyone watching, wondering why we're doing the window like we are. This is a tried and true method for our house. We've had the other homes windows done for about two and a half years now exact same way no leaks no problems no issues at all so we're confident in showing you this as a one method that works for us and should probably also work for you as well i'm gonna take a second inside and go ahead and move this shelf back over to this corner i really hate this shelf i want to come up with a better solution for storing 
our printer and homeschool stuff and crafts and stuff. But that's not the point right now. I get sidetracked. I want to go ahead and move the table and everything over enough to give Angela room to hit this window. Well, <laughs> not hit it, but get to this window so we can get that tore out and hopefully put back all together without it getting dark on us or getting too late. So enough talking, more working. Okay, it's not perfect, but there's enough room to get there now so we can get this window taken out and everything. Okay. Still didn't catch it, but it didn't break this time. Yes. I'm see what I'm afraid of is you push through it and it's gonna shatter on me. That's why I'm <laughs> that's why I'm wimpy. But hey, this one came out and didn't break. Interior view. Look, <laughs> look, it opens. Perfect timing. <laughs> it was. That was awesome. <laughs> so they look great. They look really, really good from the outside because now we no longer have two old windows with our other new windows. And I'm, it's going to look great in here once we do the trim and molding too. So cost. How much do the windows cost? A hundred each. So 200 bucks for windows. These are Kenro brand windows and they are special size for mobile homes. So $100 per window is a lot if you go to Lowe's probably, but these are weird sizes for mobile homes. Another thing, um, I looked online at like one of the mobile home discount places and it was going to be I think $110 each and then you're going to have to pay like $60, $70 for shipping. So I found a place that was kind of local that had mobile home stuff and contacted them to see if they could order them. They could, and they were 98 each, and I didn't have to pay for shipping. A lot cheaper. So that'd be a tip for anyone. If you have a mobile home parts store nearby, call them and see if they can order them. If not, you can get them on the internet, and it's going to cost a little bit in shipping. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed us showing you how to put windows in an old metal siding single wide mobile home. I don't know there's too many videos out there, at least new ones or recent ones, so hopefully this is helpful. If nothing else, entertaining. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.